Oh. Ah, straight vodka always does it for me. Just kidding, it was water. Or was it? It was. Hey, how's it going? I'm Yuhu, and today we're going to be reviewing JT's Justin Timberlake's new album. What you say? This came out like two months ago? Whatever, that's still new to me. So without further ado, rolled my R's for extra class and more vodka. Oh. Water. Let's start at the beginning with Pusher Love Girl. Already, that title literally makes no sense at all. Let's chizek it out, as they say in the Czech Republic. This just screams class to me. Like, so much class, it's not even funny. I can always see the stars when I'm on you. Mmm, that's a little sexual. Yes. <laughs> My dealer. I, I think that she's his drug dealer. Who is that? <laughs> yep. Yep, Alvin, it's a good simile. It's a very, he's, he's good at similes. Though. Yep, sure. You just said that. You said that again. Oh, about love this time. Uh-huh. That's fourth. Four times, five times. He wants to show you things. Blatant sexual themes throughout this song. Don't hold the wall. How do you hold the wall? How does one hold a wall? It's very clingy. Very. You might want to not. You might want to ditch this one, JT. Again with the rep repetitive thing, JT. I mean, you really might just want to. That was like six times. What does that sound? Okay, well that's that's a song. Me? I get the feeling it was a mellow day. What are you tasting? You just met this girl. She sounds kind of like a fly. This is just, this is just outwardly sexual. If you're not picking up on this, you're either 10 years old or completely oblivious. The lying thing. He's a liar. A lot. He lies. Things. It's like the album cover! I never picked up on that, ever. That makes so much more sense to me now. The things. It looks kind of like this when you do that, like when you're nine, which says a lot about me right now in my life. He's got the tunnel vision again. Like JT, man. Like. You feel me? So, that's not possible. Can we, can we, let's, let's rewind here. Hop into my spaceship coop. There's only room for two. With the top down, we'll cruise around, land and make love on the moon. Would you like that? JT, man, like, I get your ambition and everything. Like, that would be kind of cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> but like, no. You can't. You got the top down, so I'm assuming you're wearing space suits, right? Like, you can't just go... You would die. Now that you have space suits on, both you and her... Who is this guy? Who's talking? Why is there always some random dude talking at the beginning of all the songs? Ooh, I'm liking where this is going already. Water. You might want to get that checked out. You might have a hearing problem, JT. I'm getting mad that you're repeating yourself so dang much. That's what I'm getting mad at. Are you? Are you in love with her? Is this the same girl you met like in five minutes and you were already, you know, blueberry lollipopping?
You can't hold soul. Soul is intangible, Justin Timberlake. Or JT, as I like to call you. You, you, you can't just... I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna stop. And then there's Blue Ocean Floor, which is just super chill. No one listens to it anyway, so I'm not gonna review it. So that's Justin Timberlake's new album, The 2020 Experience. Overall, I think I, I think I enjoy the album. It's fun. It's cool. I mean, it's kind of snazzy, you know? Not my favorite album ever. I mean, and I can kind of see that he's trying to appear older, like, you know, the Beebster did that a while ago with the whole, like, Bad A kind of thing that he's putting on, and he's trying to, trying to be all swagged out with his, you know, tie. That's a tie. <clears throat> it's a good album. I, I, I'd say I like it. I'd give it a 4 out of 5. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I guess that's all. Uh, make sure to leave a like and fave if you enjoyed. Leave a comment on what you think of Justin Timberlake's new album, and maybe you could leave a comment on what else I could review, if that's something you'd like to see me do. Make sure to subscribe also if you want to see more, and thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye bye This is really uncomfortable because it's like Durazzo. Durazzo Floors, that's a rock, ladies and gentlemen. This is my dog Roxy. Say hi to the world. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Hello, Rox. <laughs> So yeah, you got to meet my dog, her name is Roxy, she's a pit bull boxer mix, and she's adorable. I think she is at least. You may not. Stop it! Stop! I'm thinking about playing Battle Block Theater. I don't know if you want to see that or not. Le please uh, let me know in the comments if you think that's...